Hello, my name is David Dilling from Marksware. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to go over Flight Check Professional, Marksware's advanced pre-flight tool, in comparison to Adobe's um, built-in pre-flight with an InDesign, CS3 and CS2, I believe. Over the years, we've seen more and more seemingly thinking that they're getting full-fledged pre-flight if they use Adobe InDesign's built-in pre-flight tool within um, InDesign. Well, I'm here to tell you that simply is not true. Furthermore, even calling it a pre-flight function is actually, well, it's stretching the truth. It's not rules-based, meaning you cannot even, mm, you know, change what you want to check for. You have no uh, say in that whatsoever in the built-in feature in InDesign. It just gives you the information it gives you. Yeah, it has nice info on colors, fonts, and images, even though it's pretty limited at that. So it has a certain use for sure. However, it's far from a professional pre-flight tool like FlightCheck. Sitting next to me today is Arnold Roche, one of our workflow specialists. And I should add that Arnold comes to Marksware after 15 years of experience within pre-press departments at many major, major uh, printing companies. Thus, around here, he generally knows what he's talking about. He's also, if you ever have any support questions, he's the one you might deal with, uh, at least on the European side of things. Arnold, perhaps you could show us today some of the main advantages of Marks vs. Fletcher Professional in comparison to Adobe's InDesign pre-flight feature. Give us an analysis. Sure, no problem. But I think it's best to show this live on screen. So if you could all join me on the screen, then I'll show you everything about it. So what we're going to use is Adobe InDesign and, of course, FlightCheck Professional. Those are the two applications that we're going to do pre-flighting in. So let's open the file in InDesign. We choose the file and just open it like we normally do. So here's the file in InDesign. We have several elements in there, illustrations, text. So let's go over the document a bit so you get a bit familiar. Uh, four pages, all elements and illustrations and text on every page. Okay, let's go to the file menu and we choose pre-flight from uh, InDesign itself. The first thing that we see is that there are, there's no way we can make settings, so it's not a rule-based system. So if we switch over to FlightCheck and we go to the ground controls, we can definitely see that there are a lot of settings that you can do. This is totally rule-based and we can make settings for all kind of elements in our document and of course images where uh, we can find the most of the rules. We can even choose different sets and we can create different sets. So we choose one and we created a whole set and now we're gonna drop the same InDesign file that we opened in InDesign and we simply drop it on the FlightCheck icon. That's all we have to do. FlightCheck now starts checking the whole file, not only the file but also elements within the file. So we pre-flighted the document in both FlightCheck and InDesign. Let's first go to the InDesign window. We go to the font section and we see that four fonts are used. That's basically everything that it says, so we should be happy with that. Let's go to the font info on FlightCheck, however, and we see that a major error is found. We see that uh, the font the Futura, the printer font is missing, which is actually a pretty big error. Because if a font is missing, then you get a courier or another font uh, in your output. And that's something that you definitely don't want. Okay, switching back to the InDesign pre-flight or info screen, as I call it, we go to the links and images and we see that a lot of RGB is used. Um, only a small warning I can see, but the effective resolution is not even mentioned somewhere as an error. We can go through the whole list. Let's go through it and we can see that the effective resolution is between 144 and 160 which is actually too low for normal offset printing so if we switch back to uh, flycheck there we can see that all the images are in red because rgb is found and we set that to an error and the effective resolution is way too low to have a look at all the information that FlightCheck could find, I could just simply double click on an image and see all the information that FlightCheck was able to gather from that image. Okay, going back to the InDesign pre-flight, we go to the colors. We see CMYK is used, but that's kind of strange because in the 
LinkedIn images, we saw that RGB was used. And we can see that in all kind of elements, RGB is used. And still in the colors and inks section, we do not find RGB. In Flycheck, switching back to Flycheck, we see RGB mentioned in the color section as well. And we can even see that it is used in a TIFF file. Pretty important. Uh, then we have the printer settings, which are pretty general. So we won't go over that too much. Uh, we can see that in Flycheck as well. We can have file info, page info, and print info, which is even a bit more information. And we can find everything here. Switching back to InDesign, where we can see that an external plugin is found in Booklet plugin, but I searched my whole computer and was not able to find it. So I'm not sure what they meant with that. If I go to Flycheck, uh, it is simply not shown. And I think that is more correct. While we're here in Flycheck, let's go to the page layout. The page layout is a great tool that gives you a, a schematic overview of the pages and shows you all the errors in there. So if you go to a page and click on an error, it exactly shows you where to find it. So for instance, if we click on this error, we can see where it is. And from here, we can launch the document in InDesign. It opens there. And from there, we can select the error and start correcting it. Staying in InDesign, let's go to the package function, which will collect everything needed for the document. So we can fill in some uh, instructions. We can make some selections or some settings. And now it has collected the whole folder on my desktop. Flycheck, of course, has a collect function too, in which you can select where you want to drop your file, but you can also compress your job. So it becomes a zip file, which is ready to send, which is a great function in Flycheck. So we can see all the elements that uh, are collected. Let's go over them. This is a whole list and you can see everything that will be collected. If I push the collect button, you will see that a nice zip file is created on my desktop. Here we have both now, the folder from InDesign and the zip file from Flycheck, which has a red cross because there were still errors in there. If the errors were not there, you would see a nice icon without the cross which indicates that everything is fine and that the file is ready to be sent off. Here again, you can see the three files in, in close-up. So this is what I wanted to show you. The InDesign information function, as I like to call it, and the full pre-flight function of Flight to Professional, uh, which is rule-based and which allows you to make sets and make rules and check for everything that you basically need and get a nice and clean error report that you can use to communicate to clients and to make sure that your file will be okay once it hits the workflow. This is Arnold Roos from Marksware. I hope this was useful for you and hope to catch you next time. Thank you.